back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Daisy B. And today we're gonna be eating like the goat himself. <laughs> Messy. Hence why I'm wearing this beautiful Argentina kit. So I asked ChatGPT to give me a rough daily plan of something that Messi would eat. So I'm gonna be following this messy meal plan for the whole day today. And one, see if I enjoy it. Two, see how much he eats. And three, see how healthy it is. So let's go to the kitchen and see what food I've ordered for the day. So Messi is known to avoid lots of sugary foods. So we've got lots of vegetables, lots of protein sources in here. It focuses on clean, natural foods. So we've got lots of vegetables, obviously some chicken, salmon, nuts, all very healthy foods. So let's make our breakfast for the day. So for a breakfast, we're making some porridge. I literally just do it in the microwave. I put porridge oats and water into a bowl, put it in the microwave, and it makes like a sodgy porridge. And then he just has cinnamon and banana apparently, so that is what we went ahead and put on there. Okay, so my first meal of the day as messy is oatmeal with cinnamon and sliced bananas on top. And this is actually not far from my own breakfast normally anyway. However, this isn't the only thing on Messi's breakfast. But I do need to go run and get an avocado before I can have the second part of my breakfast because I completely forgot to order avocados. So I'm gonna eat this up and then we'll make the second part of his breakfast. I am back with avocado, so let's make the second part of Messi's breakfast. Do you wanna know a fun fact about Messi that I find absolutely hilarious is the fact that Arsenal actually tried to sign Messi when he was a youth. When he was in Barcelona's academy, Arsene Wenger actually reached out to try and sign him for Arsenal, but he obviously never ended up going there and he ended up staying at Barcelona for years, so there you have it, unlucky Arsenal. So if you hadn't guessed, I have just made some scrambled eggs. I always put a little bit of butter in my scrambled eggs. It makes them really nice. And then I'm cutting up half of an avocado. This is the second part of Messi's breakfast, just full of lots of protein and really good fats. Right, second part of Messi's breakfast, we've got scrambled eggs, half of a sliced avocado and a herbal tea, which I've got a mandarin and ginger tea because it's, it's cold season, it's flu season, and I feel like this is the best herbal tea for that. So let's eat the second part of our breakfast and then I'm gonna head to the gym because I wanna get my workout in. Considering I'm following an elite athlete's diet, this should be really good for me. It definitely tastes good. Do you wanna know another fun fact about Messi? He is the most decorated Barcelona player ever, having won 35 major trophies with them. His trophies include 10 La Liga, seven Copa del Rey, four Champions Leagues, three FIFA World Cups, three UEFA Super Cups, and eight Super Copa de España. That is a lot of trophies. All done. Right, now I'm gonna head off to the gym, go get my workout in, and then we, of course, are gonna be eating again. Right, guys, before I head to the gym quickly, I am gonna have Messi's mid-morning snack, which is apparently yogurt with fruit and also a handful of nuts to get some more protein in. I feel like it's a good snack to have before the gym, so we might as well eat it now. It says that he has Greek yogurt, however, dairy just doesn't sit in my stomach right, so we have Vanilla Alpro. This stuff is so good, it's literally my favorite thing. I tend to have yogurt in the morning. Um, I've also been eating it kind of like ice cream, I'm not gonna lie. Let's have, it says a cup, so I'm just gonna fill this little bowl. I've got this bag of mixed nuts, which is a combination of cashew nuts, almonds, hazelnuts, and walnuts. And I'm just gonna put some of these into my yogurt. I feel like it's just easier that way. There we go. We have some nuts in my yogurt. We've got some raspberries and blueberries to go into here. So this is Messi's mid-morning snack. It's essentially just yogurt, fruit, berries, Pretty tasty if you ask me. And it's not its not very filling, so like I feel like I'll be good eating this just before the gym. This is a great little snack. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna train in the gym today. I'm thinking legs, because I'm only gonna manage to get two sessions in this week. So I think if I just do like one session of lower body, one session of upper body, I think that's a good a good split for, for two days in a week. I have such bad brain freeze right now, but let's go to the gym. Guys, I am back from the gym. I did a very heavy leg session and my legs are killing me now. But we are on to Messi's lunch. So what is a lunch that Messi would typically eat? We are going to be having a chicken salad. I haven't actually got very long because I do need to stream this afternoon, but we need to quickly cook some chicken, make a salad, have a protein shake alongside this. So let's get cooking. 
I'm coming at you with another Messi fun fact. Are you ready? So Messi is the only player in history to ever win the World Cup Golden Ball twice. The first time he won it was in 2014, and the second time he won it was obviously 2022 when they won the World Cup. And then in 2023, he went on to win the Ballon d'Or and everybody was up in arms about it, saying that he didn't deserve it. And it's been the same this year with Rodri, people saying he doesn't deserve it. However, I disagree. I think that Messi did deserve it that year. To be the first player ever in history to win a second Golden Ball is absolutely crazy. And to be honest, I think it's the same with Rodri. I think he does deserve it. I think he's been an outstanding player. He obviously went on to win the Euros with Spain. He's been outstanding for City. I just think because he's not a goal scorer like Vinny, people are saying he doesn't deserve it because they don't recognise his talent. But Rodri is an absolutely incredible player and I think people need to show us a little bit more sportsmanship. Anyway, let me run you through what I'm eating. So I'm making a salad. We're chopping up this cucumber, some peppers, some tomatoes. I'm gonna put some spinach in that bowl. Obviously, I've already got the chicken in the oven, which I seasoned with salt, pepper, celery salt, cumin, paprika, and a little bit of ginger. I'm then gonna go ahead and make myself some quinoa and bulgur wheat, which I'm gonna put a stock cube in a pan with a little bit of hot water. I'll wash the quinoa first before putting it into the pan, let it sit for about 10 minutes, take the chicken out, flip it over, put it back in, and then wait for the quinoa to cook, and then it should all be ready. This actually looks so good. It was so tasty, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna get on and eat this on stream because I am super late. Are we even surprised? It is time for some dinner. So what would Messi eat for his dinner? According to ChatGPT, we're having salmon, sweet potatoes, and vegetables. I also forgot to have the protein shake earlier, so I'm gonna make the protein shake as well. So let's cook some salmon and make a protein shake. Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with B. Today we are making some salmon and sweet potato. So I'm chopping up the sweet potato into circles and then chopping them into quarters to make these like little chunks. Put the sweet potato on there, cover it with a little bit more oil, some seasoning, some paprika, some cinnamon. If you haven't had cinnamon on sweet potato, you need to try it. It is so good. I then put them in the oven for about 10 minutes before flipping them over and then I put them in for another 10 minutes after that. Then I also made myself some steamed vegetables, which I went for some green beans, some broccoli, and some carrots. I actually only recently found out how to steam vegetables in a pan. You just put them in a sieve and put a little bit of water underneath and just let it steam. I've always just shoved them in a pot of water and boiled them, but apparently you don't keep the nutrients as well. Also finally making the protein shake that I was supposed to have at lunchtime, but I made it as a hot chocolate because this protein powder as a hot chocolate is so good. I then started cooking the salmon because there was about 10 minutes left on the sweet potato. And now it's time for another messy fun fact. Now, supposedly Messi's favorite dish is his mother's Milanese Napolitana. Please correct me if I've said that wrong. It's basically breaded chicken with tomato sauce, ham, and mozzarella cheese. Sounds delicious. Right, guys, we have our dinner. We've got salmon fillet with sweet potato and steamed vegetables. We've got a protein shake on the go, which I've made as like a hot chocolate because this protein powder as like a hot chocolate is the best thing ever. And then I've got another herbal tea on the go. This one's lemon and ginger. Good for colds, obviously. I actually don't really like salmon, I'm not gonna lie, but we do it for the content. I'm also not a picky eater. Like if something's, if something's put in front of me, I will eat it. I literally don't care. I, I prefer raw salmon. And like when I was a kid, this stuff actually made, used to make me like gag. So <laughs> cooked salmon is just not something I ever really have, to be honest, but as I've grown up, it's just like, if somebody made it for me, I'd eat it. And obviously for this video, we're eating it. I don't care, it's so good for you. Full of omega-3s, full of protein. So let's get eating. Do you know what guys? Sweet potato and salmon is banging. I thought it'd be a bit of a weird mix, but oh my Lord, it actually works really well. Guys, you know what time it is. It's time for another Messi fun fact. Did you know that Messi actually had a growth hormone deficiency? So this guy, if he hadn't received treatment, he could have stayed really, really small. I'm not joking. And Barcelona actually ended up paying for his treatments because his family couldn't afford it. That is actually so kind, but also crazy. All done. I actually really enjoyed that salmon, which is shocking to me because for the longest time, like my whole life, I've never really enjoyed salmon, never really liked it. This is why trying new things or trying stuff that you might not have liked as a kid is like 
one of the best things because your taste buds change over time. And apparently I like salmon now. So that's great because salmon is so, so good for you. So that is definitely getting incorporated into my diet. I just need to finish my protein shake and then I've got to get on and edit my highlights from the stream today. There is one last thing on our messy meal plan, which I'm gonna eat after I finished editing my highlights as a little treat. So I will see you when I'm done editing. Guys, I am so beyond tired. It is a joke. I have just finished editing this video, which has just gone up on my More Daisy Bee channel. I will leave a link to that channel somewhere here. Um, if you wanna go check it out, it's basically just all my stream highlights. And I've just watched the Chelsea Panathiacles. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's one of my Chelsea Watch Along highlights videos has just gone up and I've just edited it and the turnaround time, literally like two or three hours, got it edited up straight away. I feel like those kind of videos always do better the quicker you get them up. So yeah, that video has just gone up, but I am so tired. I still have one more meal left that Messi would eat. And the last meal is cottage cheese. I just, I, I don't think I've ever eaten cottage cheese. The thought of it just doesn't sound great. Apparently he has a cup of cottage cheese with a sprinkle of cinnamon and honey. So let's go try this out. So I've got my Tesco fat-free cottage cheese and I'm just gonna put a bit, oh my God, it looks vile. Guys, that looks grim. It's like chunky yogurt. I also don't know how well this is gonna sit in my belly because as I said earlier, me and dairy don't get along very well. In a quarter of a pot, this has seven grams of protein. So that makes sense why he's eating this. But messy. It does just smell like cheesecake. Maybe I will enjoy this. So we've got cinnamon to go on it. Hopefully this is nice. And some honey, which this isn't even real honey. Like the stuff you get in the squeezy tubes it's just pure sugar this isn't actually like honey i don't know if anybody knew that but this stuff it just isn't but it tastes like honey it's going on our cottage cheese we've got a little bowl of cinnamon honey and cottage cheese i'm gonna mix it all up because it's quite chunky and it's making me feel a bit sick looking at this do you know what it does just taste like cheesecake Maybe Messi's onto something with this one. I really, I'm not enjoying the like chunky, the chunky bits in this. In fact, maybe if I put more honey in it, it might be all right. It's too, too chunky. But that is the end of this video, guys. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button because I have filmed some more videos where I eat like footballers. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss those and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.